Hi, Janet Adam. It's so nice to see that you've sent us a set of essays, your first set of essays. Okay, let's see what you did here. 340 words almost, huh? All right, well, let's see what you did. Experts throughout both the developed and developing world have debated whether the schools, get rid of the, whether schools should improvise its curriculum to entertain students or not. While many others believe that school's only purpose is to prepare them for higher studies, I am of the opinion that besides educating them, it is equally important to keep them entertained. In this essay, I will discuss both the sides using examples from the UK government um, and American International Education Society to demonstrate points of proof arguments, support arguments. Sorry. Okay, well, let's talk about this introduction a little bit. Uh, there were a couple of word choice errors. On the whole, you did fine. You obviously are following the template, so that's good. That's a good starting point. Um, but I do want to correct a few things. First of all, improvise is wrong. Uh, the word it's is wrong because it's schools. Whether schools should improvise their curriculum, but like I said, improvise is wrong. So it's adjust, it's um, reconsider. I mean, there are a lot of different words you can use here. Um, and then you said here. Prepare them. Who is this them here? Because look what happened. You've got others. You've got schools. So you've got a lot of different plurals between students, okay, and the word them. So while obviously a reader here will intuitively know that you're referring to the students, still, grammatically, it just sounds rather off, okay? Um... You could have said young people. That would have been good in case you don't want to use the word students again. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to be putting that besides educating them. It is a good part to keep them entertained. Fine. Now here, this is an essay where it's asking which side do you agree with. So you have to make it clear to us why you will be discussing both sides. I think it's great to discuss both sides. Okay. I, I'm usually in favor of that because it provides a more well-rounded essay but um, since you've said that you think that they must be entertained I think it's important to explain why though you are going to describe the other side as well okay so um, maybe we'll come up with something later for that let's see what you argued first and then we'll see what we can do with that Okay, so uh, on the one hand, there is ample evidence that students can progress well with their academics when schools only focus on core subjects. This is largely because it keeps them focused 1S and helps them in gaining in-depth knowledge in those subjects, which are much needed for getting admitted into a professional course. All right, rather than getting admitted, you could have made this simpler and cleaner by saying, which are much, are much needed for admission into a professional course. For example, lowercase e. An extensive study by uh, American International Education Society indicates that 70% of foreign nationals who study their higher education in the USA are Asians, and this is because of more focus, get rid of the S, school syllabus, okay, because of A, more focused school syllabus in Asian countries. Therefore, it's conclusive clear that if schools only concentrate on teaching the core subjects, more people would join higher education and become more successful. Let's say... Um, so what you're telling me here is that we need to learn core subjects and, uh, proof of that is that more Asians get into university and the reason behind why more Asians get into university is because, um, Asian schools teach these core subjects better. Is that what you're saying? I think that's what I'm understanding. I have to tell you that as far as um, the idea generation goes, I would have liked a little more to it. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put a pause here and I'm gonna move on to your next paragraph and then we'll talk more about this later. All right. On the other hand, there is an increase in number. Mm, there is an increase in the number of school dropouts. Uh, you're missing some sort of co co cohesive device here, okay? And just something as simple as and would have worked. The central reason behind this is twofold. Firstly, okay, why is the sentence so long with so many dependent clauses? Look at this. You've got on the one hand, which is fine. 
There's an increase in the number of school dropouts, comma. You know what? This could have just been a full stop here. So full stop. The central reason behind this is twofold. And I like always a semicolon here, but you don't have one that's not a huge deal. Firstly, they feel stress at school. And secondly, they feel disconnected and isolated. So the school, so schools, comma, by having more leisure activities such as painting, singing, and sports, comma, will not only reduce the stress in students, but also keep them engaging with others. For instance, lowercase i, recent empirical research by the UK government shows that there is a huge drop in the number of students discontinuing school, get rid of the, after public schools included sports activities in school. Okay, no, not in school in school. How about in the program or in the curriculum? Therefore, it's possible to say beyond doubt, primary education, primary educational institutions should be more engaging. All right, so my first comment here is, um, I have a couple of comments. My first comment here is, I don't like that you had two main ideas in one sentence. So you have, firstly, they feel stressed, and secondly, they feel disconnected. Those are two separate ideas. You put them both in one sentence, and I want you to separate them. And the reason I want you to separate them is because each sentence deserves its own um, explanation. It, earned, it, it deserves its own support. So you say they feel stressed at school. Okay, well, support it and tell me how entertaining schools would help reduce stress. Then you can go on and you can tell me that students feel disconnected and isolated. Okay, fine. Now tell me how an entertaining school curriculum would help ease this disconnection and isolation. Okay, so I don't really like that you lumped these ideas together and then you had one sentence for them. Now here, um, let's see. Then you said that there's a drop in the number of dropouts, basically, when there are sports activities. So are we... To understand here that a sport activity is considered entertaining, um, you have to show that to me. How is a sport activity being involved in a sport activity entertaining? Um, and the reason I say that is because um, I know that there are a lot of students in school who like sports and they enjoy them, and that there are a lot of students who really don't. And so there's nothing entertaining about being involved in sports. What do I mean? I mean that what does entertaining mean? It means amusing, funny, ha ha ha, lighthearted, something that, you know, makes us smile, makes us laugh. Sports is not always about laughter, okay? All you have to do is watch um, a professional football game to understand. So um, maybe you could have said something else here, all right? Let's move on because really, I'm spending a lot of time on this essay and I know you have one more. So let's see. In conclusion, despite lowercase d, the benefits of focus 1S school education is more important to entertain, again, them. Who is them? It's a new paragraph. Don't assume that we know who you're talking about. Uh, from the arguments and examples given, I firmly believe that school education should incorporate more leisure activities. Okay. The organization of your paragraphs is good. It's accurate. It's correct. Um, I think I've been really, really, really descriptive with some, what some of the issues are. So I don't want to say anything more about this essay. I want to go straight to your next one, see what you did there. This is the one about enjoying an, an activity with a child. All right, the experts throughout. I don't like the experts, okay? So just get rid of the. So let's try it again. Experts throughout the public and private sectors have debated whether school students, all right, just screw students, there's not school students, so get rid of school, will gain more skills and creativity by reading or by doing the activities they enjoy. In this essay, we'll discuss why it is beneficial for them to do the activities they like using examples, get rid of the, from Oxford University to demonstrate points and support examples. Okay, fine. On the one hand, it is undeniable that reading books improves S. Why? Because reading books is one activity. It's singular. Improves one's apostrophe S knowledge and skills. This is primarily because these books are designed by pedagogical experts whose job is to help students gain maximum skills and creativity by reading. Nice sentence, nice vocabulary. To exemplify, an extensive study by Oxford University indicates that 90% of students who read books or who read books are more knowledgeable and can, no, not well advanced, but can advance in their academic career is spelled on C-A-R-E-E-R. -E -E 
Therefore, comma, it is conclusively clear that reading books helps in developing skills and becoming more innovative. Okay, so you're arguing books. All right, that's interesting. I don't mind that you did that. In fact, I love that you did that. I think that having a concession paragraph in something like this is really, really important. So I'm actually thrilled that you did it. My concern is that you didn't really give us a heads up here in your introduction. So um, what you need to do is rather than say that you will discuss why it is beneficial for them, what you need to say instead is that in this essay, I will discuss how uh, I will discuss uh, that. Oh, no, you won't. Let's see. Let me try it again. I will discuss why reading has benefits, but on the whole, um, blah, blah, blah is more effective in developing skills. So you need to have some sort of a thesis statement here that shows the reader that you're going to discuss both sides of the coin and that you're... Um, you know, yes, I can see the validity to the one side, but on the other hand, this is what I think is stronger and, and more true. Okay, so uh, improves one knowledge, pedagogical experts, gain skills, creativity, more knowledgeable. Okay, fine. On the other hand, there is ample evidence that a child can be more futuristic, I don't understand that, and can be, gain better skills by doing the activities they love. The set of reason behind this is twofold. Firstly, it as it helps relieve the stress in them and keeps them more focused. That's not a full sentence. Uh, let's try it again. The central reason behind this is twofold. Then I would put a colon here. Firstly, comma, no as, it relieves the stress in them and keeps them more focused, one S. All right, now, what you need here, honestly, is your support. So directly after your main idea, you need to come up with the support and tell us why you say what you say. Secondly, it also makes them competitive and more interactive. For instance, if a student learns new words and their meaning, spelling by playing mobile games such as Quizlet, Spelling Bee, and Word Puzzle, besides gaining knowledge, he will also develop the aforementioned qualities. All right, this is a sentence that grammatically has a lot of problems. Um, I just need to help you rewrite it, really, because I can't pinpoint just one problem. There are several. For instance, if a student learns new words and their meaning, uh, okay, if a student learns new words and their meanings, as well as spelling by playing mobile games such as Quizlet, Spelling Bee, and Word Puzzle, he will gain the afore, he will develop the aforementioned qualities as well as gain knowledge. All right, so I did some changes that to make it work. Therefore, it is possible to state beyond a doubt this approach is superior to reading. All right, good. I'm glad that you wrapped it up there. Okay, in conclusion, although reading enables, again, them. Who is them? It's a brand new paragraph. Don't assume we understand. So talk about children here. Uh, enables children to develop their required skills and to be innovative. They can be better, this can be better achieved. Because again, they, you're going to make us think you're talking about the children can be better achieved. No, let's try it again. Although reading enables children to develop required skills and to be innovative, this can be better achieved by doing enjoyable activities. From the arguments examples given, I firmly agree that it's better for children to gain skills by doing the activities they enjoy. All right, that's nice. Um, so for me, do you know what my problem is with this essay? You talked about creativity um, in reading books, but you never talked about here. You never talked about how other activities can help gain um, creativity. And that was the whole point behind this essay. Take a look at it again. Let me find it. Wait one second. Here we go. Um, doing durable activity, develop better skills, and creativity. You didn't really talk about that. You talked about creativity when you're talking about the value of books, but you didn't talk about it at all in terms of the enjoyable activities. So that's a problem. That's where you absolutely needed to talk about it. All right, so um, this will probably be uh, a little bit of a problem as far as your task achievement is concerned. All right, but you're definitely off to a good start, so I'm excited about that. I know I've given you a lot of feedback. This has been a very long correction, but I wanted you to have it for your first essay set. Um, so go ahead and let's talk about now what you need to do. The first thing is correct these essays based on this feedback. 
The second thing is jot down all the mistakes you made and then next to each mistake, write down what the correct version is. And you'll add to this list with every um, essay correction you get back. And then of course, the next thing you need to do is send us a new set of essays. So go ahead and get that started. And we'll be back here with your next set of essays. Good luck.